I don't know how this is possible, but your boy is sick again. Sick of this shit. Your boy's sick again, so I got myself some green tea with some honey. Slate Digital has been teasing a new plugin all week. It's supposed to come out today, so I'm going to check out and cook up with it. From what I've seen, it looks like a multi-effects plugin. Something along the lines of like RC20 or one of the plugins they make already, Murder Melodies. So it'd be cool to check that out. It's in collaboration with Scott Storch from what I've seen. So let's get it. All right, so the plugin hasn't come out yet. So in the meantime, I'm going to shave and then I do some editing on some other stuff I'm working on. And uh, I'll be back when it comes out. All right, looks like it's out now. Uh, we're going to take a look at the website while it's downloading. See what it's about. Storch Filter. So it's like a multi-effects plugin plus filter plugin. I don't feel like watching the video. Let's see what's going on. Built-in effects. Beaver, of course. Okay. And then it has an auto filter. That's pretty cool. So it is a little different than the Murder Melodies because the Murder Melodies did have filtering, but it wouldn't have an auto filter. You couldn't do like pumping effects and stuff like that unless you automated, which you could definitely do. But I guess this is essentially so you don't have to automate anymore. It makes it much easier. Pro presets. Okay. I don't want to listen to any demos. I just kind of want to go into it. All right, let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a beat, and then we're going to add the Scorch filter to every instrument and see what it sounds like. All right, I'm going to start off with this uh, Sorrow Piano preset for my Keys Open Doors Analog Lab Bank, and we're going to lay something down. I'm at a vocal sample. Let's uh let's go into arcade. All right, I'm about to start a regular version, a low version, and a high version. All right, those sound real nice later like that. Let's get a bass. Alright, so here we are in the session, not mixed, not really arranged, literally just made this. It's time to throw on Scorch Filter, see what it can do. Here's the plugin itself, uh, I have it on the piano, because we're going to try to see what it sounds like on everything. First impressions, I kind of don't really like how it looks. I just think it would look a little better if it was like out to like here. You know what I mean? I don't know, that could be just me though. Let's just uh, mess around with it real quick before we get into presets. I just want to see what it sounds like. It is a filter. <laughs> Let's go with some effects. So if I read it correctly, this is actually a dry wet knob too. As you close the filter up, more effects are applied. And that's what this is for right here, I think. This is just essentially just the effects. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But if you switch it to one of these filters, yeah, the reverb comes in as you close the filter. That's interesting. So if you just want to use the effects, you go to the flat and it's literally just becomes a dry wet knob. Just want to hear all the effects sound. That's interesting. The only thing I don't like about it is that you can't really do anything with these presets, you know what I mean? 
that you can't customize them. Like you click the reverb and it applies that amount of reverb. At least not that I see. I don't see any like ways to tweak the reverb, the chorus, or the saturation besides the knob. Let's check out the auto filter. Keep a sine wave. That's actually pretty cool. So pretty much at every quarter note, it the filter goes. I wish it showed it. That'd be cool. But you hear it. Let's try a different uh, wave shape. That's pretty cool. It gives you uh, some options to do stutter effects and stuff like that. Let's go into the presets though. They say that Scott made these himself. So that's pretty cool. Let's go down. Instruments, here we go. Ambient guitar, cassette guitar, guitar chorus, moving guitar. There are a lot of guitar presets. I would have thought that, you know, Scott's a pianist. So I would have thought there would be the piano presets, but let's just see what they sound like. Not bad. Look at the effects. Ooh. That's kind of hard. I think sound pretty good. I feel like the main thing you would do for this plugin is you would automate this, right? Just to get exactly what you want, get the effects, the swells and stuff like that, have it come in. And that way you don't have to automate a reverb, a chorus, a saturation, a spreader or a phaser. You only have to do this one knob for automation and then you pretty much automate all these effects at once. It looks to me from messing around with it for a few minutes that that's the concept of this, which is pretty cool. It does save you a lot of time if you automate all these things separately, but if you don't, then, you know, <laughs> you now you can pretty easily. Let's move on to the vocal. I do see some vocal presets. Let's do it on the regular one, which is this one. This is the one that's not low or high, it's the regular one. Go to the vocal presets, see what they got. Down here's a bypass. I guess you can also make it go up. Yeah. Gain in, gain out. This is gain in, I'm guessing. Right, let's see you. Let's just flip through the presets. I like that. Subtle, subtle doubler. Oh, that sounds good. Lush. Nice saturation. Oh, that's it? It's all of them? You know, I'm gonna group these. I'm gonna put the scorch filter on all of them at once. I think it would sound really good. Yeah, you gotta be more subtle with it. Let's bring this the effects thing. I think this is the boost right here, which uh, essentially boosts the effects even more. So I'm gonna turn that off. I kind of like that how that sounds. Let's uh, do a before and after. This is with it off. And now with it on. Subtle, but I can tell once you really level out the beat and mix it, it's going to sound really good. Now let's move on to the bass because I saw some bass presets too. We doing them all. Oh God. 
that really makes it super super fat also the 808 we'll save that put on the 808 on the bottom a little pulsing bass preset that'd be pretty cool well this one just gives you a lot of low-end rumble oh, this one got a lot going on this is essentially just saturation I will say though the saturation on this plugin is pretty clean and this is the last one Me personally, I really like the first one. I just don't feel like it fits the context of the mix. So I'm going to put it to the trunk shaker, give it a little bit of saturation. Just to give it a little bit of a growl, you know what I mean? Let's just do the drums. I saw some drum presets on this. I'm going to put on a drum bus, see yo, how it sounds. telling you like a lot of these especially like this one are meant to be automated in for example you have a part like this right and then you just slowly automate it in so i will say this plugin really ain't one of those pop it on an instrument click 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 and something it makes it sound crazy and i don't think it was made to be like that anyways i think it was honestly made to be automated you just automate this filter and you just get all these effects with that automation and it just makes things much easier before we end things off though let's put on the 808 to see what it sounds like i can't imagine it being like an automation thing for the 808 right I will say it gives the 808 some nice saturation. So this plugin is included in the All Access Pass. So if you have that, uh, definitely check it out. You might as well, you know what I mean? It's part of your subscription, you might as well. I do have the All Access Pass. Um, I'm not a big fan of subscriptions, but I only have two music subscriptions. One is Slate All Access, and the second one is Arcade. Every other subscription doesn't seem worth it to me, only those two. But if you don't have the subscription, I don't know if this is a plugin you would just dive into the subscription for. They do have a perpetual license, I believe, as well. It is... All right, so it's $150 for a perpetual license. Me, personally, I probably wouldn't pay for it. I don't do too many automations and stuff like that. But if it's something that you do a lot where you automate your reverb chorus, saturation, and all that stuff, and now you only have to automate this one knob, it's probably worth it. Me, personally, not really that worth it. But if it's something you're interested in, I think you're better off going for the subscription route instead of the 150 just because of how much stuff the All Access Pass includes. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by Slate in any way, shape, or form. I'm just, you know, giving my opinions. But that's me for this one. If you like the beat, like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more videos. It really does help me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And of course, be sure to check out my social media and my music on all platforms. All linked down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you guys next time. Peace. They don't know what it takes for you to chase your dreams All these sacrifices don't know what it brings This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah Blinded by the lights in the limousines But all I care about is the